What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today I'm showing you the driver software that comes with Rocket's ISKU FX keyboard. Now this doesn't actually come with the keyboard. You're going to need to go to Rocket's website and download it yourself. Now the keyboard will work without this software but of course you can't customize keys and do all the other stuff that I'm going to show you right now. So this is the main screen here for the keyboard. Pretty uh, basic stuff on this first page. This is your main control tab and what you can do is this is where you can assign your macro key. So you have macro keys one through five and then you also have your easy shift button. So what this does is allows you to double the number of keys. So my M1 through 5 keys I can actually double by using the easy shift um, key. So here you can assign all of your keys and what they actually do. Um, there's a lot of different things you can actually assign them to. Um, different shortcuts, different profiles, all different kind of stuff. I and mean, there's there's a ton of stuff. There's preset functions for all different kinds of games, as you can see here. Um, of course, there's other things you can add in, and of course, you can record your own macros as well, which I'm going to show you here. Um, you can go to Macro Manager, and I haven't done any macros, but they're really easy to create. Um, it's it's pretty easy here and there is a record button right here but there's also a live record button on the keyboard yourself um, and of course there is an advanced um, editor here as well so you can kind of see everything and you can also set it to repeat the macro so if it's something you want to do you know three or four times in a row with just one key you can go ahead and set that here as well so that is basically the main control here. Now on every page, you're going to see this bottom section right here. And what this allows you to do, it's going to show you which profile you're on. And actually each profile is colored and that's actually the color of the keyboard, the backlighting on the keyboard as well, um, kind of so you know what profile. So maybe you can set different colors for different profiles so you know which one. You can also create a profile, load profile, save, save profile and edit the profile. And um, you know, it's pretty much pretty easy to do all right in here. Now, the easy zone control is which we've gone over in the review. If you if you're reading the review, is your your easy zone, and what that is is the set of keys right here that you can use with the easy shift function again to make them whatever you want. So you know there. They're already set to what they are, but you can add a secondary function for each key, which is actually really cool. Um, you know, so you hold down the easy shift and you can assign a secondary function. They cannot, you know, they're not just um, different things. They're different, um, you know, standard keys, shortcuts, quick launch, and all different kinds of stuff. And again, you have everything for all of your games, um, all of that stuff that you can assign to these keys. Just makes it easier because that's where your hand is going to be for most of your gaming. Multimedia keys, so you have your F1 through 12 keys, which can be assigned to different things. Um, again, everything that is available to all the other keys. But you also have your media keys up top here, and they can also, they're already pre-assigned to what they are really, but again, if you want to change them, you can go ahead and do that. In advanced controls, we have all of our lighting controls. So you can select a predefined color here. There are quite a few. Or you can set your own custom color to whatever you want. Um, you can even put in the value, you know, red, green, and blue value for a custom color that you like. You can set a breathing effect, um, which will, of course, you know, dim and then go back up to the highest setting and dim down again, which is pretty cool. You can also do color flow, which will flow between... Um, the colors. Of course, we're going to show you all that in an upcoming video showing you all of the different lighting effects of the ISKU FX. You can set your brightness here. There is a brightness um, key on the keyboard too, but you can actually set it here in the settings. There's key illumination dimmer and timeout. So, you know, if you're not using your keyboard or something like that, you're walked away, it will actually dim the um, illumination and you can set the illumination uh, level. You can actually have it turn off too. So maybe you don't want your illumination on at night or something like that, or if you've walked away, you can set it after a certain minute interval as well, which is actually pretty cool. Sound feedback. So it will provide live sound feedback if you switch profiles, if you uh, record a macro or if you get a trophy which we're going to show you in just a second um it's just a cool little sound feedback to know maybe you're not sure which profile you're on when you actually switch your profile it will actually have a live sound there which is pretty cool you can enable and disable certain keys so if you're in a game maybe you want to enable or disable the windows key of course you know if you're in game you don't want to have your window minimized if you accidentally hit the windows key so you can um, enable and disable all of these different keys character repeat which will actually open 
uh, the Windows setting for that, and you can completely reset this driver, which of course, you know, maybe you mess something up, you just want to reset it back to the factory defaults, you can go ahead and do that. Under the RAD tab or RAD, this actually tracks everything that you do, which is pretty impressive. Um, they have this for their mice as well. So what that does is it will give you trophies for doing certain things and typing so many times, and it will keep track of your total keystrokes. So I've done 10,312 strokes. Um, you know, it shows you how many times you've hit the W, A, S, and D key and the total for that, and then the thumb buttons, how many times you've touched them as well, and the Easy Shift Plus, how many times you've used that. Again, you can see the multimedia keys, Rocket Talk, all of that stuff. It just keeps track, which is pretty impressive. It's pretty cool. Maybe, uh, you know, how many, how, how many keys have I used on this keyboard? How many strokes? And then, of course, the different uh, achievements right there. And you can reset your stats, too. Maybe you get a new computer or you get a uh, maybe a different Rocket keyboard. You can go ahead and reset your stats. And then update and support. You can download the latest driver and everything. And you can get online support. So that's basically it. You can also change the um, language here. So you have all the different languages that you can change for everything. But this is a pretty in-depth um piece of software here. It's one of the most in-depth for a keyboard. Just makes it really easy. And one thing that's great about it, it's easy to navigate. It's not hard to configure. So that's basically it here for the driver software for Rockets ISKU FX. Now, if you have any questions about it or maybe you're having trouble, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And as always, we thank you for watching. Catch you guys later.